Six, we are asking about your safety after an order from Washington, D.C. All U.S. hospitals have been told to have a plan to deal with Ebola. So tonight we're asking what our local hospitals are doing in that regard. Marsha Barnhart spent the day asking those questions. Joins us with the answers she learned. Marsha. Well, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention in Atlanta had already issued an Ebola plan before this week. But apparently a visit by President Obama to his headquarters Tuesday prompted this most recent alert to the nation's hospitals. Hospitals in the Dayton area are watchful of all updates from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. But the CDC's most recent posting urges hospitals to follow a three-pronged approach to guard against transmission of the deadly Ebola virus. So we have a culture that we call the uh, gently remind culture. Hospitals within the Kettering Health Network already adhere to the CDC's suggested buddy system. It helps as a reminder to maintain hygiene. All of our employees are given uh, not only the encouragement, but the support in always keeping an eye on uh, each other and gently reminding each other if they've uh, forgotten perhaps to wash their hands or, uh, you know, appropriately follow precautions to prevent. The CDC checklist also requests demands on training staff to understand Ebola. Who we'll collaborate and watch daily for updates, and then we will put together what's called an infection control alert. And that alert will give our employees very rapid, uh, the most recent information in sort of a bullet form um, uh, uh, style. Uh, to give them the key point. Kettering's Dr. Carol Quinter admits handling Ebola is complex, but all employees at Kettering hospitals are alerted and understand how that virus has to be handled. With Ebola specifically, is there anything different or special that you would have to do, or are you just going to follow your normal protocol? Uh, no, we absolutely will have uh, uh, other things in place, and the, and the most important thing is that we recognize very uh, immediately when a patient is in the process of being admitted, whether they have risk factors. Now included in the recent CDC plan is a diagrammed detailed document that shows staff how to put on and remove their scrubs. They're urged to study those pictures to make sure they are keeping up with standards. Hospitals with Premier Health also say they are keeping up with this recent urging from the CDC. Marsha Bonhart, 2 News, working for you.